and welcome back to the Football Appreciation YouTube channel. Now, it looks like, well, Nuno's obviously gone, and it looks like the two favourites to replace him are either Bruno Lager, who Fabrizio Romano and a lot of the other journalists are putting forward, and then Tim Spears is kind of putting forward Paolo Fonseca, um, who's probably got, you know, a more proven record. Um, obviously, he's won stuff at Shakhtar, and he won the Cup at Braga, whereas... But Bruno Lagos won Liga Nos. That's something that Paolo Fonseca didn't do at Porto. But he's got experience, but most of it's just as a youth coach, um, which isn't always a bad thing. You know, Wolves have quite a young squad. Um, but when I look at this Wolves team and compare it to Bruno Lagos' most used team and then Paolo Fonseca's most team, I just think Paolo Fonseca's got more experience and it, it fits the team right. So... If you look at Bruno Lager, it's very much a conventional 4-4-2 with two DMs, two wide men, and then kind of a floating striker next to a big man. Whereas Fon whereas Fonseca, I mean, this season he's played more of this back five, which is very Nuno-y, whereas normally it's more of a 4-3-3 um, or a 4-2-3-1 with kind of Cristante playing in midfield, whereas he's kind of dropped back this season. Now, I've seen people compare him to Conor Cody, which I think is kind of inaccurate. I know he's a midfielder playing for centre-back, but... Fonseca does play him in midfield, whereas I don't think Fonseca would be able to play Conor Cody in midfield. And I think most Wolves fans would want to see this be a back four, right? And kind of be a 4 3 3. But I look at Wolves and I think, let's say we did bring in Bruno Larg. I don't really get how we'd play this 4 4 2. Because if you look at our team now, sure, Adama and Pedence could stay out wide. Maybe Morgan Gibbs White could play off Fabio Silva or Jimenez. Because I can't see Jimenez or Fabio Silva being the Jao Felix of this side. So I can't, and then what does Sace move into midfield and then you kind of play a flat back four? I don't think that gets the best out of anyone. Maybe Fidenz or Neto could float as the second striker, maybe that would make more sense. And then Matinho could be where Sace is right now, and then you could have Gibbs White off the left. Basically the point I'm trying to make is that I don't think our squad really fits Bruno Lager's preferred style of play. And it kind of does fit um Paolo Fonseca's perfectly. Plus, Fonseca is just a more experienced manager to me. Like, it makes more sense. I think, look, we could play a 4-4-2, but I think you'd have to buy... Let me put him back there and get rid of Sace. I think you'd have to buy another winger or move Pedence and Neto out wide and then buy another striker. But then you'd also need to buy two wingers because we need someone to cover Adama and you'd need another striker. Plus, these centre mids in Bruno Lager's system are very much DMs and... Jermantino and Neves on. We've seen that they can't play in a midfield too, and neither can Dendonka. So I feel like we still need to buy two centre backs. Plus, in the, in this system, you kind of need a proper left back. And I put Vinagre here because he's coming back from loan, and I don't know if Wolves will buy Eight Nuri now. But I just don't think this Bruno Lago system fits Wolves at all. And look, it could do if we make signings, but I don't think we'll have much money to spend this summer. So I can't see this working in the Prem or. Oh just with our squad whereas this Bruno Lago team it makes a lot more sense whether he plays a 4-3-3 with a back four or you know I don't know who our Brian Cristante could be it could be Ruben Neves maybe it's kind of the DM who plays in the middle of a back three but kind of also in midfield but to me this just makes more sense you know Paolo Fonseca to me seems like the most safe appointment personally I'd really like Leo Jardim personally I think he's done a great job in Monaco but I think if we're comparing the two favourites, which is Paolo Fonseca and Bruno Lark, and then obviously Constant Sauer, but I haven't really seen anyone else talk about him, plus I don't really see him leaving Porto. So to me, it's between Bruno Lager and uh, Paolo Fonseca. And to me, Fonseca fits the squad better, and he's more experienced. Um, let me know what you think. Subscribe. Thanks for all the support on the last video, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe let me know who you want as manager like obviously it's not just these two guys i'm sure there'll be loads of people on Wolves' radar um and I'll, I'll have a review of the game tomorrow as well the man united Wolves game um so yeah subscribe and peace